Hey, what do you know? Another sequel we didn't ask for. Bad Neighbors 2. So Bad Neighbors 2 is a sequel to Bad Neighbors and stars Seth Rogen, Rose Byrne, Zac Efron and Chloe Grace Moretz. And in this movie, when Chloe Grace Moretz finds out that sororities can't have parties, she decides to create her own sorority. And to do so, they decide to move into a big house. And guess what house that is? That's right, you guessed it. It's the one right next door to Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne. And with them trying to sell their house, it's very possible that the buyers could back out when they see their next door to a sorority. And so there's a clash, and basically this is the same movie as the first one, just with girls. Now I didn't mind the first Bad Neighbours movie, I thought it was quite a fun movie, not to be taken seriously, but I had fun with it. And there were quite a few good laughs in the movie, and knowing that I knew to go into this movie not really expecting a serious movie and to just relax and know that I'm about to watch a comedy. Only when you're recycling the same old shit from the first movie that was funny then, it's not really funny now. Why is it not funny now? Well, because you saw it in the last movie. And they do try to attempt to throw some new humour in there. But even then, the jokes that they use at one point, 10 or 20 minutes down the line, they use again. Which just ruins the effect of the entire joke. And that's not to say I didn't laugh during this movie, because I did laugh a couple of times. None of them were laugh out loud moments, but there were a few good laughs in there. However, there were also moments that didn't work. There were also moments where the jokes didn't hit. Due to this movie using the same old jokes that they used in the first movie, the jokes just didn't feel as fresh or as funny. As for the cast, well, Seth Rogen is basically Seth Rogen in this movie, as he is with every movie he's in. But I don't really mind that. I'm a fan of Seth Rogen. I think he's a funny guy, and I like a lot of his movies. Rose Byrne was good in the movie, she was good in the first one, I think that was the first movie I saw Rose Byrne in a comedic role, and she really impressed me in the first movie, I think she was the funniest part about it. And again in this movie, her comic timing is good, but again it's the same old stuff you saw in the last movie. And speaking of the last movie, Zac Efron returns in this movie. And recently he's really impressed me with his comedy movies, what with Bad Neighbours and Dirty Grandpa. And although he was good in this movie, and brought a couple of the last to the movie, I didn't feel his character really needed to be in this movie. Plus his character isn't introduced in the way that the trailer shows it, where to get rid of a sorority girls, Seth Rogen seems to seek him out for help. No, it turns out first he teams up with the sorority girls. And the girls that they are facing off against are led by Chloe Grace Moretz. And I like her, I think she's a very good actress. And she did have some good comic moments in the movie. However, and it's probably down to the fact that they're female and not male, I didn't really relate to their characters as much as I did Zac Efron's group in the first movie. The movie's also directed by Nicholas Stoller, who directed the first Bad Neighbours. And the guy's a good director, he's made a lot of good movies. Movies that I've really enjoyed. And again, his directing was really good in this movie. Whether it's the writing that really lets this movie down because it is basically just the same script as the first one only with a few tweaks to it. Instead of them battling against the guys, they're battling against the girls. So overall guys, although there are a few laughs in the movie and the cast all do a good job and it is well directed, a lot of the time the jokes do fall flat. And because it is basically the same movie as the first one, you might as well just watch the first one and ignore this one altogether. And so I have to give Bad Neighbours 2 2 stars. If you really enjoyed the first Bad Neighbours and you're a fan of Seth Rogen comedies, you will probably really, really enjoy this movie. And as I said, there were aspects that I enjoyed. And with the recycled jokes and the jokes that they use more than once in this movie, it let me down a little bit. So, Bad Neighbours 2, have you guys seen it yet? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends, it'll help my channel out a lot. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.